Thank you, Kate. The Target 12 investigators taking you inside the mafia now. It admitted Rhode Island mobster was back on the stand today testifying in the Boston mob trial of Francis Cadillac Frank Salemi. This time, Joe DeLuca faced some tough questions from defense attorneys who questions his memory and honesty. Target 12 investigator Tim White has been every day at the trial inside U.S. District Court in Boston. He's here now with the latest developments. Defense attorneys for Salemi and co-defendant Paul Wiedek attempted to poke holes into Lucas' testimony. Yesterday, he told jurors he helped dispose of the body of Stephen DeSaro. Wednesday, as mobster Joe DeLuca left federal court in the trial of Francis Cadillac Frank Salemi, he cracked a joke. The butler did it. <laughs> but under cross-examination, defense attorneys weren't laughing, trying to draw discrepancies between what DeLuca told a grand jury in 2016 and what he said to jurors on Wednesday. DeLuca says his details changed. After one day, I was out in the woods and I sat down and I started to think about it and I went over every detail. The testimony in day seven of the trial against Salemi and Paul Wiedek, accused of killing Boston nightclub owner and Providence native Stephen DeSaro, the two have pleaded not guilty. Though the trial takes place in Boston, Rhode Island's underworld is front and center. Joe DeLuca testified his brother, mob capo Robert Bobby DeLuca, was angry at former mob boss Luigi Baby Shacks Minocchio because Minocchio authorized a hit on Bobby DeLuca in 2009, which never went down. Yesterday, DeLuca testified that the mob has lost a lot of men to cemeteries and prisons. In Boston, with the Target 12 investigators Tim White, Eyewitness News.